In this video, I'm going to share with you the best way to stop any under center pass in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden players that they can possibly become. And we do that through vi posting videos every single day on YouTube that can help you get better both on the offensive side of the ball as well as the defensive side of the ball. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. It is completely free to subscribe, and it just allows you to be able to know whenever we release one of those new tips every single day. All right, guys, so in today's video, like I said, I am going to be sharing with you how to stop under center pretty much any passing play from the under center. This is exactly how you want to stop it. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and you want to go into your coaching adjustments and you want to put your flats on 30, your curl flats on 20, and your hook curls on 5. As you can see right there, that's kind of our, our starting point. And then from that point, what we're going to simply do is we are going to audible down into the cover four show two from the three three five wide. From that point, we're simply going to go ahead and we are going to um, globally blitz our entire uh, linebacking core just like so. We're going to shift our defensive line toward the side that we think they might run the ball if they run the ball. So in this example, we're going to shift them to the wide side of the field. We're going to put our user on a little purple zone right here. And then on this left side, we could do a little bit of all sorts of things. Uh, what I like to do is I like to put maybe a cover two over there. And then on the left side here, I like to do maybe something like that right there, a little cover six style of defense. And basically what I'm going to do is at the snap of the ball, I'm going to stand kind of right here, and I'm going to run right through the quarterback or through the center, and I'm going to sack the quarterback. So I'll snap the ball. I'm coming right down the center. And as you can see there, it's pretty much an instant sack before they can even pass the ball. Now, if you want to do this same kind of style of defense from man-to-man -man coverage, you can audible down into the Mike Blitz zero, as you can see right here. We're just going to shift our D-line to the right. We're going to crash our D-line out. We're going to put our user on a little purple zone, and at the snap of the ball, the same exact thing is going to happen. We're going to come right through the middle and pretty much sack the quarterback, um, or at least hit him before it is even possible for him to be able to throw the ball. The beauty of this is if they block a running back, yes, they will be able to pick up the pressure, but they're going to have one less person in out on a passing route and also because of the placement of where the running back's at you can oftentimes hit the quarterback before the running back can even step up to block as you can see right there relatively simple let me show you here that it works on both sides as well so if i move this guy over here i'm running to the left side um, the same thing is going to ha basically happen i'm just going to run right through the middle and snap the ball and as you can see we're getting the instant pressure on the quarterback now one of the things that i want to highlight to you is a nice little way to basically create a little coverage defense that looks exactly the same is to basically go ahead and put both of your guys on purple zones we're going to man up the right the right of screen slot receiver or right receiver just like so and then we're going to drop a little yellow zone right in the middle of the field and this is now going to create kind of that same illusion that pressure is going to be coming but it's actually just going to be a simple base rush of two people and you're dropping everybody back into coverage this is the beauty of the vehicle 335 wide defense it can not only stop the run it can not only stop the pass but it gives you the ability to basically have everything look exactly the same which is one of my personal recommendations if you are trying to get better at defense you want to start with making every single play on defense whether it be a cover four cover three cover two man coverage man blitz any of that stuff you want to make it look exactly the same and that is what this nickel 335 offers you and that is why i would tell you that the nickel 335 wide defense is the best defense in the entire game and if you want to get my complete defensive guide it is available for just 15 dollars I'm going to leave a link to that defense in the description. It is by far the best defense in the entire game. Um, we've asked and kind of gotten some of your feedback. About 75% of you have said that the nickel 335 wide defense is indeed the best defense in the game. And so if you want to learn exactly how I run my nickel 335 wide defense, whether it be zone drops, zone blitzes, man blitzes, um, user rushes, as you just saw, um, you know, run defenses, max coverage defenses, match coverages, all of those things are in the defensive guide. And again, you can get that for just 15 bucks. So I'm going to leave a link to that defensive guide in the description. Meanwhile, if you have any questions about this video, or if you have any questions about the defensive guide, go ahead and feel free to text me. My number is 208-218-6900. Thanks for watching this video. And again, if you want to get my full nickel 335 wide defensive guide it is going to be available for you in the description and if you use the link that i gave you in the description you can get it for just 15 bucks